pros and cons only locals know about living in South Lake, Texas. And a few will really surprise you. So before we go, I'm gonna run the median home price again because I found some shocking stats that I'm gonna share with you later. So let me pull them up. So I found an article that said South Lake, Texas is one of the richest cities in America and the median income is about 240,000. You have professionals who live here, CEOs, pilots, you have uh, business owners, a wide variety of professionals live here in South Lake. So the first pro is the location. South Lake is located perfectly between Dallas and Fort Worth. It's only 10 minutes uh, from the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. And so the location is just phenomenal. I would say, I know people reference traffic, but on this northern side of Tarrant County, there's not near as much traffic as other places in the Metroplex. So I would say that's relative. Everyone says there's traffic everywhere that they live, but I would say there's less traffic here and I've been all over DFW. So the second pro of living in South Lake, Texas are the beautiful neighborhoods. Many of these neighborhoods are in the cross timbers, which means it's a section in North Texas with large trees, heavily treed areas, um, and in the neighborhoods here, they typically have larger lot sizes, so you're not like all scrunched in like in Frisco, Texas. <laughs> South Lake started booming building custom homes in the late 90s and early 2000s, and many of the builders wanted to keep the trees, and so some of these homes, they're just completely shaded in the hot summertime. The third pro for South Lake is all of the amenities. It's so convenient. I love convenience, y'all. Uh, but the town square especially has all the shopping you need. You have Central Market across the street. You have um, all the dining that's here, both in the town square as well as all over South Lake. You don't have to go anywhere else for dining options. We have some South Lake residents on our team who gave us the inside scoop. The shopping's great. I love the shopping here. Um, having Town Square right there with all my favorite stores is awesome. Um, I no longer have to go to downtown Dallas to find Lululemon or Aritzia or Sephora or lots of just big, big name stores that um, a lot of smaller cities don't really have. Um, as well as I know they're building another shopping center soon, kind of further down off the highway, um, which will be great too to have another little area. But Town Square has been a great, great thing to have, and as well as all the shopping on South Lake Boulevard, I feel like there's a lot of different options for everybody. The fourth pro are the schools. South Lake Carroll is consistently among the top in the state of Texas, and every school has an A rating by the Texas Education Agency. One of the reasons South Lake ranks number one year after year is first off, this is an affluent city. The families really value education, as you can tell from the very high percentage of persons with a bachelor's degree or higher at 73% compared with, say, 65% uh, of Frisco. The fifth pro for living in South Lake, Texas, the parks and recreation. Here I'm at Bicentennial Park, which is my favorite park, the one that I brought my kids to while they were growing up, and the one that many young families still do today. I love it because it's fully enclosed, one way in, one way out. You can let your kids run while you chitter-chatter with the other moms. Um, but there's also pavilions here, other parks, ponds, tennis courts, baseball and soccer fields, plenty of things to do in South Lake. The mascot for South Lake is the dragon. I love how, especially at this Bicentennial Park, how they have incorporated the dragon all throughout. In this section, it's for five to 12 year olds, and back here, it's for under five. Um, I just like how they kind of separate that out a little bit too so the bigger kids aren't running over the little kids. Texas does have hot summers but I do love how many of the parks have incorporated splash pads. Hello my name is Dana Pollard and I have a real estate team here in the Dallas Fort Worth area so if you are looking at moving to Texas the Dallas Fort Worth area or if you have a house to sell here we would love to be your real estate team of choice Fill out the questionnaire in the link below to get started. So the first con of living in South Lake, Texas is that 
the cost of living has skyrocketed. In fact, when I'm pulling up the median home price right now, it's at 1.3 million, which is actually down from 1.4 at the beginning of this year. Now, listen, I did a video just three years ago on the median home price, and it was only $775,000. That has more than doubled at 67% of an increase just three years ago. So again, while we're down 7% from this year, we're still more than double in South Lake, Texas. The second con is how competitive the schools are here in South Lake. Now I know we mentioned how great they are, uh, but with that comes competition. We're at the South Lake Carroll Stadium and kids can grow up playing football, they go on to play college and even pro, but again, the competition's high, as well as with academics and other extracurricular activities as well. So the third con is that there's not a lot of new construction here in South Lake. There's just, a, it's almost fully developed and so there are very few like parcels left to purchase and build. We are in one right now that they are currently building in. Um, beautiful neighborhood. Just know that if you want a new construction home, you're probably looking at at least the $2 million price point. The fourth con, especially with that fully developed concept in mind, is that traffic can get congested. Now I would have to say it's not as bad as other parts of the Metroplex, but during rush hour, as well as when there are events going on in the South Lake Town Square, this 1709, which is behind me, can get pretty backed up. We are also very close to 114, which is, again, most of the time it's not too bad, but I would say just at that 7.30 a.m. or 5 o'clock p.m. timeline that it gets a little backed up on 114. Definitely con of just being here is traffic. Um, having the highway is right there. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, you're always, there's about two main roads that go and you're always gonna ha kind of have a little bit of traffic no matter what time of day. The fifth con is the lack of nightlife. Now, I'm in bed by 10 p.m., but if you like to stay up on the weekends, there's not a whole lot to do here in South Lake, Texas. We have an agent on our team that kind of shares a little bit more on this who lives here in South Lake. Tell me where, where do the kids go to hang out, the teenagers? Mostly at In-N-Out Burger up in Grapevine or at the Sonic on 1709 in Davis. Okay, um, why would they do that? Because there's not really any place in kind of South Lake Central for them to do that. Okay, do they not hang out at the town square? It closes at 8 o'clock. Oh, okay, why, why do you think that everything closes so early in South Lake? I don't think they want the kids out late. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody wants to be out after 10 o'clock, where would they hang out? Like maybe young adults? You'd have to go to Grapevine or to Dallas or Fort Worth. Now, despite the lack of nightlife, our South Lake team, they love where they live. I had no problem with it. I liked it a lot. I mean, I had a blast. So, uh, and I know my brothers, I have one brother still in high school and he's having a great time too and getting ready for college this year and this year. So my last thought, I guess, is just that if you can do it, do it because it's worth it and it's awesome and I love it. Okay, now now you've graduated college recently. You went yes. to A&M. Yes. Um, and then you're back. Do you plan on staying in South Lake or just wherever a job takes you? Wherever a job or life takes me. Um, <laughs> I do like being in South Lake. It's very central to everything. I mean, the airport's five, seven minutes away, so if I'm going with friends on a weekend trip, it's right there. Um, and Dallas and Forward are both not very far. So kind of being in the middle is really nice for if I am living at home for a little bit longer with my parents then having a job either in Fort Worth or Dallas, it's not gonna be more than about 30 minutes drive. Stay tuned because next week I'm gonna show you the inside of the most coveted neighborhoods of South Lake, Texas. And if you are looking at moving to South Lake or any of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, please click on the link below and fill out the questionnaire to schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation to help you narrow down where to live in Texas and find your dream home. We would love to be your team of choice.